Poor excuse for it. Is there something you need, Senor Mayor? What I need, Sergeant Garcia, is to be freed from the never ending nightmare that is El Zorro! Do I hear someone calling my name? What? Who's there? Show yourself. Behind you, Senor! Behind you! Now, Mr. Mayor, perhaps you'll do me the great honor of disappearing. Permanently. No! Please! No! In darkness of the night, he fights the people's fight for justice and what's right is sorrow. Avenging evil's there, he lies for all that's fair, so evil best beware his sorrow! His engines light the sky, prepared to fight or die, for justice and what's right his sorrow! Do something! Don't Wake let up, Senor Mayor! You're having a nightmare! Wait! Oh. Oh. That's going to leave a mark. That's it. It's time to finish off that masked maniac once and for all. Garcia! I want to see the fearsome four. My office in one hour. The fearsome four, Senor? Really? You heard me! This Zorro has become too great a threat to my plans. Even as we speak, El Zorro plots my downfall. I can feel it. This fox wishes only to destroy me. Never sleeping, always plotting. plotting. He must he be stopped! stopped. <laughs> Now that you're awake, Master Diego, I suppose you'll be wanting your breakfast. Sorry, Mrs. M. Gotta run. <laughs> A gentleman, if we might begin, our city faces a great threat. One that promises to undermine everything we have worked for these many years. What's really on your mind, Martinez? Are you worrying about the city or your pocketbook? Is there a difference? Cut to the chase, my friend. What's in it for us? My friend? The proper way to address me would be your honor or Mr. Mayor. You wish to talk of titles? Get yourself somebody else. We're leaving. Oh, no, 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 no. Please, do sit down. I did not mean to offend. I was merely... You were merely being pompous. Please, gentlemen. I promise I shall make this worth your while. Thank you. You have your mayor's appreciation. Now, as I was saying, we are under attack. Caught in the sights of that praying fox, El Zorro. Troublemaker, this meddler, this criminal who hides under cover of a mask. <coughs> oh, not that there's anything wrong with a mask. <clears throat> As I was saying, this ruthless criminal plunders our fortunes by interfering with every move I make. You are the most feared dons in Pueblo Grande. If you cannot stop this, El Zorro, no one can. This is not good. 
It's one thing for Zora to take on my father and those idiots he calls soldiers, but against these four, this could be very dangerous. The Scarlet Whip can deal with this later. I have a math test to ace. So there you have it. Against one of you, Zoro might have a chance. But against the four of you? <laughs> Even El Zoro can't be in four places at once. Now can he? What's our take? 20% of the city's gas and heating fuel revenues. Okay, Martinez. You've got a deal with the fearsome four on the case. Your senior Zoro is dust. who I was talking to. Did you miss any of the questions? No, of course not. Oh. What's up, guys? So, how'd you like that little brain buster this morning? Didn't. Guess you gotta have superior head cells like Bernardo here if you're gonna pull through one of Mr. Martin's algebra extravaganzas. Oh, I don't know. There is this thing huh? called studying. <laughs> Maybe you've heard of it, Diego. It's what you do when you aren't wasting your time racing motorcycles and fast cars. Studying? Hmm. Yeah, I think I heard about that somewhere. Now, if I could just remember what it means. Oh, don't hurt yourself. You're gonna need what's left of that little brain of yours to play with all your expensive toys. Bye-bye <laughs> now. <laughs> Maria sure knows how to push your buttons, De La Vega. <laughs> like a baby. Let's say we open her up and see what she can do. On your mark, Bernardo. Let her rip, big boy. Maria? Ah, <laughs> oh, funny, Bernardo. How many other voices do you have in your computer? I got a million of them, Senor Zorro. That's not funny. Quit messing around and let's get this party started! This will do... nicely. The noise from this place always did give me a headache. Why do I think you have something to do with this? 
Because I do. I do. Then we will put a stop to this right now. You will stop nothing. <coughs> what? Oh. Welcome to your future, Signor Zoro. As you can see, it's somewhat dark. <laughs> I tried to be a great Zoro just like you, but I am a failure! Why do you say such a thing? I am not good enough. When challenged by more than one, I lack the skills to succeed. That is because you seek to win by strength alone. Sometimes victory must come through superior strategy and with the help of your friends. The people are counting on you, Diego. Trust yourself. And trust your friends. I believe in you. Don't go, Grandfather! Don't go, Grandfather! Please! Grandfather! Uh, Bernardo! What happened? The release yesterday of unofficial recording. But my dream! It was my grandfather! He spoke to me! Okay, I gotta go find that creep that knocked me out! Back to the studio. Trouble in Pueblo Grande today. Four city landmarks came under attack, the most serious taking place at the Pueblo Grande Raceway. But the real question on everyone's mind, where is Zorro? Zorro? Looks like when the going got tough, El Zorro got going. Out of town, that is. I never did trust the guy. I mean, he wears a mask. How do you trust the guy who wears a mask? Face it, Zorro is a zero. What are they looking to do? I lose one fight and they turn against me. Fine. If that's how they feel, they're on their own. In other news, we can take you now to this report from Jim Johnson. I was afraid of this. Four different attacks. It had to be those four creatures who were meeting with my father. And they blame Zorro? Even he can't be four places at once. I should have been there to help. Next time? Fail him. <laughs> I knew they would all turn against him. You see, my good sergeant, at the end of the day, it's all about who has the power. And in this city, I hold all the cards. I think Signor Zoro will now better understand. The more he gets in my way, the more I will make the people pay for his interference. And the more I make them pay, the more the people will hate him. <laughs> ah, it's good to be the mayor. <laughs> We're under attack! Run! Signor Mayor, Signor Mayor, I think we have a problem! Now what? It's the fearsome four! They are attacking City Hall! Ridiculous! Nobody would... <coughs> Will you answer that already? <coughs> Buenas noches, Mayor Martinez's office. See? Oh no. They say that if they could defeat Zoro so easily, maybe it's time for a change in the mayor's office? What? What are you saying? They have given you one hour to turn over Pueblo Grande to them. Or they will blow up City Hall. Ay, caramba.
Looks like the mayor is getting a taste of his own medicine. Go closer on one of those helicopters. Just like the helicopter that blew up the racetrack today. No? The people think they can do without Zaro? Fine, they're on their own. I do. My useless police force can't stop those maniacs. Let's go take our city. Shall we? What's with the silent treatment? Not that I miss the cracks, but I've always figured you for a guy who loves the sound of his own voice. <laughs> Whatever. Let's go. Now what do I do? I need help. Who is going to come to my aid? Perhaps I can be of service. <gasps> you? You want to help me? <gasps> strange, isn't it? But these are strange times, no? I'll say... Those Zorros! I... I'm confused. For once, I agree with the mayor. It would seem we have one Zorro too many. Sometimes we all need a little help from our friends. Touching, really. This is quite a party, no? All of you, back against that wall. On guard! Hey! Don't leave me out of this! That's using your head. Funny. At least this one talks. You can take it from here, Sergeant. Si, sí, Senor Zorro. It would be my pleasure. I think maybe it's time we find you a room in the city jail, yes? It would seem we have saved your city for you, Mr. Mayor. Yes, it would seem so. And to show my appreciation, there is something I would like to do for you and your friends. Oh, you are too kind. What did you have in mind? Perhaps you will resign. Actually, I had a different thought. More like a lifetime stay in my prison. Guards! You have a funny way of showing your thanks, Martinez. Time to go, my friends. We shall... What? Where'd she go? Is it me, or did she always leave without saying goodbye? We too shall take our leave, Mr. Mayor. But remember... I'll be back. 
And the one who wouldn't say a word. It was almost like he couldn't... Bernardo. But that would mean... Diego is Zorro. Diego de la Vega is Zorro. Please! You know, my grandfather was right. A great Zorro needs great friends. Looks like as long as I have you, I'm gonna be a great Zorro.